Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about follow symbols. How to calculate, how to find the follow symbols for a given context-free grammar. In our last class, we clearly discussed about how to find the first symbols. So before calculating follow, first we have to uh, calculate the find the first symbols. So please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so definitely, so we define like this: follow symbols, the terminal symbols that encounter after completion of a given non-terminal. These symbols we call it as follow symbols. So we don't understand by this way. We'll go with an example so that you will understand it better. So coming to this example, so in order to understand follow. So you have to concentrate much. It's a bit confusing to understand. There are four conditions to understand. If you don't understand the conditions, please watch it multiple times till you get the clarity. Because we are going to use this first and follow technique in our next coming 10 to 15 videos. So please get a clarity here. Now coming to the first, first point is S tends to A capital A capital B. A tends to B, B tends to C. This is the context-free grammar given. So follow of A. So what's the definition says is the follow of A means after completion of A, the terminal symbols that are going to encounter after completion of A. That is what follow symbols means. Means what terminal symbols that are following after A. That is what follow of A means. So let's try see. S tends to, if you want to elaborate this, it starts from S. S tends to A, capital A, B. If you check the input symbol A, after that you are going to expand A. After completion expanded A, what's the output you check for the input symbol B? Means A is completed here. After completion of A, what's the terminal symbol you are going to encounter? That is what follow of A means. After completion of A, what's the terminal symbol you are going to find here? Means first of B. First of B, the definition itself says first of B means the first terminal symbol that is going to encounter for B. That is what first of B means. So follow of A means first of B. From our context free grammar, follow of A means what's the next symbol is there? B. First of B. So before follow, if you want to calculate follow symbols, first you have to calculate first symbols. So follow of A is equal to first of B. Follow of A is equal to what's the first of B means? First of B means C. So follow of A is equal to C. First of B. First of B means C. Follow of A is equal to C. This is the first condition you have to understand. Now coming to the next one, second condition. Add dollar as follow symbol for a first non-terminal. In our example, in the above example, what's the first non-terminal? Yes. For yes, we are going to take dollar as a fo uh, follow symbol. Why we need to take dollar as a follow symbol? Let's try to understand with an example. You know, first classes in the parsing, we, we discussed a Pascal example and we discussed a context-free grammar to identify the statements that are present in the Pascal language. Our Pascal language begins with a begin keyword and end with end. This dollar symbol is not there at the end. Begin and end. In between, we are having if statement, for statements, different statements are there. In order to identify this syntactically correct or not, we have written a context-free grammar like this. Compound statement tends to begin, statement, end. Means it is checking for begin keyword. After that, it is going to expand statement. After that, it is going to check for end. This begin is going to check here. This end, last end is going to check here. In between, the statement is going to check for the statements that are syntactically correct in between the begin and end. Means after compound statement, begin, statement, end. After completion of end, how a compiler know that Yes, compound statement has been finished and the program is syntactically correct. In order to identify that, compiler will add a special symbol called dollar symbol at the end of the program. After completion of compound statement, what you are going to identify? Dollar symbol. 
compiler will add to your program at the end of the program it is going to add a special symbol called dollar symbol in order to identify that uh, program has been finished this is encountered by the first non-terminal that's why for the follow of uh, the follow symbol for a uh, first non-terminal is a uh, dollar this is how we are adding a dollar add dollar as follow symbol for the first non-terminal okay coming to the next one third important important point if our production is of the form a tends to alpha b alpha means some uh, some value b means uh, the uh, one of the non-terminal so follow of b is given as follow of a follow of b is given as follow of a this is very important to understand please concentrate here it is a bit confusing here follow of b is equal to follow of a why it is follow of b is equal to follow of a with an example s tends to a b c here a tends to a b tends to b c tends to c or epsilon s tends to a b c follow of c so what's the meaning of our follow symbols after completion of c what's the terminal symbol that you are going to encounter that is what we call it as follow of c after completion of c means s tends to a b c means after completion of a we are going to expand b after completion of b we are going to expand c after completion of c there is nothing to expand means s is completed after completion of yes what you are going to uh, identify the terminal symbols that is what follow of yes the terminal symbols that you are going to identify after completion of yes that is what we call it as follow of yes means uh, follow of c means after completion of c means yes is completed that's why follow of c is equal to follow of yes if you want to calculate follow of c there is nothing after that that's why we are taking it as follow of yes whatever the symbols that are going to encounter in follow of s those symbols will be encountered in follow of c that is what the meaning of a follow of this statement now coming to the fourth one if our production is of the form a tends to alpha capital b beta follow of b is given like this anyhow this equation will be understand at the last we will take an example and understand what's this equation says s yes, tends to a b c a tends to a b tends to b c tends to c or epsilon you, you are taking this a b c a means alpha b means our uh, b here beta means c if you take this one see follow of b what's follow of b first of c from our first statement this is what we want to calculate first of c what happens if your first of c contains epsilon so if first of c is equal to c comma epsilon c comma epsilon in place of this capital c if you place c what is follow of b c in place of this capital c if you place epsilon what is follow of b follow of yes from third statement means c completed c completed means b completed after b c is not there epsilon it is taking epsilon means c is completed c completed means uh, what's the symbol it is going to en encounter follow off yes so that's why that's why the equation says that uh, so place epsilon in place of c from the third rule follow of yes uh, it is saying that follow of b is given as uh, first of c if first of c contain epsilon remove that epsilon from the first of c symbols because uh, in the follow symbols we don't add uh, epsilon symbol so from the first of symbols remove epsilon minus epsilon means remove epsilon whatever the symbols we got for first of c union follow of yes why you are union uh, doing union because in place of c if you place epsilon follow of yes should be added that's why we are taking union of follow of yes so these four statements if, if you remember in our next class we are going to do some practice examples to calculate the follow symbols with examples you will get good clarity anyhow this will give a good intuition but with uh, practice you will get better understanding hope you understand the concept of follow if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching
If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.